Hey Shaker Makers, it's Demo Donna here and welcome to another card contractor video by Queen and Company. Very exciting. I am going to be showing you guys, I've got gloves on so I can't pick it up. Oh, there we go. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful snow globe card by Greta. Mine's slightly different because I didn't have all of the same items that she has. So I'll show you right after this before we get into the demo what hers looks like she has a great little heart die that goes across the bottom so cute so i did a little modifying but we're going to make this adorable shaker card using the brand new it's really hard to pick up stuff with gloves on winter wonderland kit available to you oh my gosh i know you guys have been waiting for it it's finally here so Make sure you check out the video that was posted previously to this, the Winter Wonderland sneak peek video, where I do two little easel cards like this. So you can see how to create those if you like this kit. Make sure you check that out. And I'll put the link in the description as well. Also, we had our first contest last week. So I am going to be picking the winner out of the giant Queen & Company bathtub at the end of this video. And if you would like to enter this week's contest, which I hope you will, go ahead and leave a comment below. And all you have to do is say winter to enter into the comment. It was so fun. We had 138 people enter into the contest to win a thousand crowns. So make sure you don't miss out on that opportunity. And thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy this video. Alrighty, let's get started. So instead of going through the entire Winter Wonderland kit, I'm going to be adding the link to the video previous, previously posted to this video. And that is going to be the breakdown of everything in the kit, the snow globes and all the cool things. Plus we made these two really fun easel cards and the inspirational design came from Ginger's design. So make sure you check out that video. If this is the first time you're seeing the Winter Wonderland kit, go and watch that video too so you can see the breakdown of everything inside of it. All right, to get started, shall we? I went ahead and attached this beautiful background paper and I cut that out of the Winter Wonderland paper pack, which comes in this kit really fun really beautiful i'm already running out of some paper so i'm freaking out a little bit but it's gonna be okay you're also gonna want to add the winter wonderland solids because everything cut out here beside from just some regular white cardstock is from either of these kits so to start from foundation die number three i have this beautiful background that has the stitching along the edges. So that is going to be the base of our card. And like always, I am doing some card constructing and I'm following to, I'm basically following the design of Ginger's design as best as I can with what I have. I don't have all the items that she had in her original card. So as you could see, I will post a photo before and after. So you already saw the one before and then after so you could see what her beautiful card looks like. So I've already got, I went ahead and stamped from the stamp set with some red dye. May the magic of Christmas fill your home this year. And then I also pre-cut using this die here, which is really fun. I love the two dies in foundation die number six that go as borders. There's this one and then there's an actual scallop edge trim, which looks really cool. I like them. And I cut that out using the light gray. So as you can see, there's a light gray, there's a dark gray, and this is the lighter gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to the front of my card. There is no ribbon this time wrapped around my card so I can actually start laying some things out. Phew, I know that's always a tough one for me, those bows. All right, so I'm going to make sure that that is 
even to both of my edges. And I'm gonna place that right about there. All right, I've also gone ahead and pre-cut using my outline die. And in this one, we are doing the taller snow globe. So using my outline die, I went ahead and cut the foam glitter paper, which is, or the glitter foam, it's not glitter paper, that'd be silly, Donna. Okay, the glitter foam in this beautiful iridescent color. It's just so gorgeous. I love it and such a beautiful background for our snow globe. So I went ahead and pre-did that. Now a little trick, if you ever want to like cut out something inside of your snow globe using the foam, make sure you do that at the same time as you cut the outline. So if I wanted to cut this tree out in the center of my snow globe, I would do that at the same time because if you cut this out first and then run this through, this is actually gonna warp because it's foam, it's gonna push down when you die cut it. So a little trick, hopefully that makes sense since I didn't really show you a sample, but I just wanted to run that through, run that through to you. All right, so I've cut out my outline die, and then next what I'm gonna do is grab the double-sided foam pre-cut that comes in your kit. So as you guys know, if you watched the video before this, breaking down this kit, oh, look it. I actually did have it right here to the side. Fancy that, where I cut out the tree. So it was just something that I was playing with. So the one that I had cut out previously actually, that guy squished and warped the size of it so it actually made it a little bit larger so I just wanted to share that trick with you and obviously I didn't finish that guy yet but that's gonna be fun to play with okay what am I doing don't take out the center Donna okay follow your own instructions peel off the outline I'm leaving the center in as you guys know because we want to make sure that it keeps its shape, especially the larger one. So because this is a larger shaker, we wanna make sure we leave that center in so it doesn't warp, so these sides don't get all warped when I'm trying to stick it down. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the center out. And you guys know the drill, save these because you can use them for additional pop-ups on cards and making your easel cards. Okay, so we've got our beautiful sparkly background of our snow globe card. And next one I'm going to do is I am going to lift up my little sample that I knocked over, how embarrassing. All right, next what I'm gonna do is build my house. So the base of the house was cut out with the darker gray, which is gonna be set in here, but we are gonna first add everything that goes on top of my house. So I cut out the door in the red and the wreath with the light green, and the roof here was actually done with the lighter gray. So I just wanted you guys to see all of that. <clears throat> and I'm going to take my little roof here and it's picking it up with fingernails. You guys know what I'm saying. I know all of you out there are like, yes, those darn fingernails, demo. All right, we've got our roof. Center that to the best of your centering ability. That's different for all of us. Centered enough, I'm gonna take my tiny little so cute my itty bitty little wreath okay so i'm going to take my sheer glue and i'm going to squeeze out just a little bit now if you are uncomfortable with the control and the amount of glue that you pull out you can also squeeze a little bit on a piece of paper and you could take something tiny for stuff like this like a little toothpick and you can apply one little drop at a time to your itty bitty item. So that's another way. And for this green, I used that lightest, there's three different shades of green in the solids pack and I used that lightest green. 
which has a fun, nice little pop to it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place my adorable wreath down. And what Greta did here is she actually used one of the awesome toppings in this kit as an added decorative piece to your wreath. And she used one of these sparkly guys. You guys get, as you know, if you watched the video before this, you get eight shaker toppings. They're all so beautiful. Here are the red sparkly ones. You get one, two, three, four, you get six, six sparkly ones. You get the pearls and the awesome snowflakes. So I'm gonna add a tiny little drop there of your sheer glue. Place this beautiful sparkly for the inside of my wreath. It looks so cute. All right, now that my house is built, I'm actually gonna glue some of the trees on it and then we're gonna layer it onto the house. So I have cut out all three greens of my trees actually and there are two different size of the tree die, a smaller one and a larger one and there's a really, really, really large one with the stitching detail. So I'm going to coordinate the different colors. I'm actually gonna use the darkest green Again, those fingernails. Oh look, I'm picking up stars. I'm picking up all sorts of things. Let's just make this fun, shall we? All right, add a tiny little bit of my sheer glue. I don't need to make sure this lasts the, 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 tan, the tans of time. That's not how that goes. Okay, stop trying to say crazy things, Donna. Okay, I'm gonna place my little tree under the window here. And then I'm gonna layer. So there's tree number one. And then I'm gonna layer the larger tree. I'm gonna add a little bit of the adhesive right here. And we are just going to layer. I think I want my trees in front of my house. So watch this, watch this magic as I shove my tree in there. There we go, nothing to see here. Just a tree shoved in the background. If you get a little extra adhesive, you can take a piece of scrap paper and I'm just gonna scrap that while it's still wet. Now I have my two trees. <clears throat> Excuse my throat clearing. Terrible. So fun. All right, now I'm going to take my light little tree, add a little bit of adhesive. There we go. Voila. So lovely. These tiny trees are so cute. What can I say? And I'm gonna add this tree on front. And then we are gonna just glue all of this down at once. Crazy, I know, crazy. All right, now look at that. We have the base of the inside of our snow globe and we will put the ceiling on Oh, oh, there we go. Look, I was about to glue it to the wrong part. You guys saw that? You saw me grabbing that? And you were like, hey, Demo, hello. Awakey, wakey. It's on the other side. Okay, I'm going to add my sheer glue. And I'm going to give a good little squeeze. Not too much. We don't want it spilling over. And I am using my glue instead of my rolly adhesive because we are sticking this to the glittery foam and I want it to actually stick. So when you have a glittery surface, you definitely want a stronger adhesive. So the wet adhesive is ideal for this. Pick up your house, flip that over. Now another thing, because we 
are building our shaker and we're putting the house on after we put the foam on, I know exactly where it needs to go. But if you actually designed your shaker first, just to make sure you've given yourself enough space because this bottom portion of your snow globe is gonna get covered. So if I went too low on accident and glued that down too low, it's gonna be covered when you put your decorative die over it, your frosting die. So make sure that you go up here. Also, keep in mind, you're gonna have those beautiful toppings. So I'm even just gonna give like a tiny little bit, like I'm not going flush on the bottom there. Just like so. You can see our house starting to take shape. So I left a little gap down there because our little toppings are gonna be sitting along the bottom there. So there you see the entire house element. Okay, I cut the roof out. You get an extra die for your roof of your house, which is great because you can have fun with all sorts of different colors. In the video before this, I showed a red roof. And this one is going to be a light gray roof. And again, I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of adhesive. I'm gonna throw my roof, you saw that. I am just actually using what is stuck on the end of my glue. So I don't have too much adhesive going on. Lovely. Look at that, I can build a roof now. I can add that to my resume. Stick my roof on. Give it a little pressure. And there you go. We've got our house, our trees, our door, our roof. And the roof is in the light gray. I don't know if I mentioned that. So the light gray, the same color that we cut that border with, as well as the lovely decorative die, our topping die that goes on top. So as you can see, the coordinating grays, which is really fun. Great job that Greta did putting all these cool colors together. Okay, it's everybody's favorite part, adding the toppings. Now again, you get eight beautiful shaker toppings in this kit. What I'm doing right now is I'm just using the base of my foam piece as like an extra hand to hold that in place while I add my toppings. So again, you get eight different toppings. I'm going to be using the Op the translucent, not opaque, the translucent, shimmery, really pretty ones. Just gonna add a couple. I am an over-topping stuffer, guilty as charged. Also going to be using those beautiful pearls. As you can see, these are a little staticky, so I definitely am gonna do a little huff huff when I get my fingers in the bag, there we go. And that huffing, as you guys know, if you've watched the Static Tamer 101, adds a little moisture into the bag and helps keep it from going static crazy. Okay, and then I'm gonna also add a couple of those little snowflakes. I've always used my arm tool as a handle and then give it a little tap tap. Helps instead of like pushing that on, I also do that with salt and pepper with cooking. So what can I say? It gives you a little bit more control versus shaking it out. All right, once you have your toppings in there, I am going to peel off my cover of my adhesive, unstick it from my fingernails, grab my acetate cover, and remember there's three of them in this kit, so make sure you grab the right size, and then I'm gonna place that down like so. And now you've got your shakers in place. I have a couple layered on top of each other, so I'm just kind of tapping them with my fingernail. So fun. Okay, peel that off. And now you have your shaker base, which is just adorable. I've already glued my card to my table. You're welcome. 
obviously that's not fun. It's not fun to craft unless you've glued the wrong thing to the wrong thing. Okay, with your beautiful snow globe kit, you get your decorative die, and then you also have an additional die that goes as a base of your snow globe. So what Greta did here, which I love, is she cut two different colors. She did the red, and this is, this is the middle red in this kit. So not the darkest, not the beautiful like holly red, but it's that middle red, like that cherry red. So that is what all of these pieces are cut out with. And then also cut out the label, the bottom part, the pleat, with the darker gray as well. So that coordinates with the inside of the house. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is use this red piece as like a shadow, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to just simply take a little adhesive tape, a little tape roller, nothing too exciting, and center that on my card like so. I guess we could finish our shaker. You know, sometimes that squirrel effect comes into play where I just get so excited Let's finish our shaker, shall we? Let's finish our shaker. Come on, demo. Just get so excited. All right, I'm taking my sheer glue. I did a nice little scribble on that larger base. And then I am going to take a thin, thin line around my whole shaker here. And the reason you wanna use your sheer glue for this is because this glue has been specially formulated to work great with the acetate and the paper combination. So you wanna make sure you have a fantastic adhesive that's actually gonna do its job. So here your job is sticking something to acetate, which might be kind of picky with certain adhesives. I would always tell people there are certain things you wanna make sure you're using the right product for, and that's definitely adhesive. So I'm just making sure this is nice and adhered like so, and then now, there we go, there we go. Following directions demo, get it together, sister. Okay, so Greta did this beautiful little heart border, which I don't have. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of other different combinations that you can do in its place, or I'm sure there are some amazing royalty queens out there that have the border that Greta used, you lucky, lucky dogs, you. All right, I'm gonna take my sheer glue again, and I am going to apply some sheer glue to the back here, like so. And then I'm gonna layer that on the front of my card. So like I said, we have the back of, we have the back here, the bottom, sorry, the bottom is like a red shadow. And the reason I didn't pull the adhesive off of the back of the foam, because as you guys know, this is an adhesive back. I didn't pull that off because I actually don't want to jeopardize, like pulling it, I might have pulled the house apart and kind of jeopardized what the adhesive was doing inside of my shaker. So that is why I glued it to my card front instead of peeled off the adhesive. Just in case you're wondering, you're like, demo, it's already got an adhesive. Okay, so now we're gonna take our beautiful little plate and adhere it there. And we're adhering paper to paper. So I'm just gonna use my little rolly tape like so. Stick that on there. Now, a couple little options. You have cute little presents in your kit, so you can maybe die cut a couple little gifts out there. You can, uh, Greta cut out these beautiful stars, so we're gonna attach those here. So we're gonna do that. Um, we've also got our tree to attach. So because this is sticking to the front here, I'm gonna just put adhesive on this side. It's 
fun when your brain works faster than your hands and your brain's going bloop, 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 bloop. And I'm gonna place that right there. I love the incorporation of the larger tree outside. You know, you could even apply a little bit of your sheer glue, especially in the part that's going over your acetate just to make sure that stays nice and in place. Okay, so from found this tree is included by the way, so so you guys so you guys know that. So from foundation die number 9, you have these beautiful beautiful little I don't know, like little stems. They look like little stems with holly berries. You could even attach your beautiful little posies. I only have the white ones here, but you could attach a couple red posies to make little red dots on those. So I was thinking what I could do since I didn't have that heart border is I could take two little hearts here because I'm kind of thinking where she was going with this was like home was where the heart is. So we will place, play around with that. Like I said, you have your trees. There's also the flowers that are in the same kit as where the stars come from, which was foundation die number two that you could play around with. So a lot of fun, different options there. Greta made this adorable, well, she didn't make this one. I made this one, an adorable little bow for the top here. And I am going to use a small gloober. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take my bow and stick it on my gloober and peel that off. And then you can see my gloober is overlapping. I'm just gonna fold that in half. All right, stick that down. So adorable. Greta also had these really great little stars, which I don't have. So pearls are another option that you can add as an accent. You can also use your petite posies. So play around with that. Okay, now that we've played with a couple little layout options, let's get right down to business and glue all of these guys on. I was just gonna do it behind the scenes and then you guys were gonna just keep watching and it was gonna all be glued down. And you know, I know you wanna see all the fun stuff. So I'm gluing it down for you. If you're already a master and you don't need to see all that stuff, then just fast forward. Very simple. So I just added a little adhesive to, and I've got the lightest green and the middle green when I went ahead and cut out these beautiful little, I'm gonna call them sprigs. Shall we call them sprigs? I'm sure there's a video out there with the proper name of these little guys. So fun. I don't have little red petite posies to show you adding a couple of the petite posies on there, unfortunately. So, like I said, I think that would be really cute, especially very holiday. So I'm gonna add a little heart here, and then I'm going to stick one on. Oh, that guy might be a little too big a little dimensional square Boop. to pop one up. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys too, what might be really cute down there, not with all these other goodies on it, but if you didn't have those, it might be cute to use the Santa and sleigh, which is also included in the kit as like a little border. So I'm gonna place I want to still see the base. There we go. Place my little hearts. And then let's add our star. So I stuck that guy down. That was that moment of, you know, I need to show you guys our assembly here because there's also some fun little things that Greta did that you guys need to see. So we've got that star. I'm a huge, huge fan of the star. Looks very cool and I love the addition. So she added the beautiful toppings as glittery accents 
to this card. So I'm going to add one in the star center and then I'm going to add two in the center of the hearts and that's going to tie in your glitter on the center of your wreath to the star to the heart. So it gives you three focal points on your card. I'm sounding like a florist, which is very important. And in the design world, three is a good number. Okay. Stick that down. And just put that in the center of my heart. There's a cute little design element in there. And then, like I said, Greta had these really cute little stars which I don't have so I'm going to use the pearls and I'm going to add a pearl to the front of my bow and I'm just going to do a couple little pearls around my card. We'll do one there, maybe one down here. I'm really winging it here so throw a couple on our top of our acetate. And there we go. Whew. We have got our fantastic shaker card. May the magic of Christmas fill your home this year. I hope you guys like it. Now remember, stay tuned and I will be announcing the winner of last week's contest. Yay! And remember, comment, comment, comment if you want to enter to win this week's contest. Make sure you're a subscriber. All right, stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed creating this beautiful card with me. Woo, it was so much fun. And now we are going to pick a winner for this week's contest. Now, like I said, 138, 138 of you commented below. And thank you so much for all the fabulous things. I am now picking a winner. Sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly. I was never a teacher. Okay, Susan Johnson, congratulations. And Susan wrote Queen, which was your homework. Super cute idea, I love it. So thanks so much, Susan. Thanks for subscribing to our YouTube channel and watching all of our videos. If you guys wanna enter, remember, comment below winter. Make sure you're a subscriber to our YouTube channel. Remember, the more comments we get, the more winners we can pick, so share with your friends. And Susan, you win 1,000 crowns, so congratulations. I can't wait to see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.